G'day all, Simon here, Explosive Action, and we are doing something different today. We're going out record shopping. I'm going into, not the city, but to the inner city, and uh, we're gonna hit up a couple of record shops, some of my favorites. Got my coffee, we're going on the train, I've got my sanitizer, we're gonna be prepared. Let's go. Home. The next train to arrive on platform one goes to... Ah! So as you can see, it's pretty dead quiet on the train, just me, and it was like that pretty much most of the way in. Um, the traffic everywhere was pretty light for a Saturday, I guess the COVID is scaring most people away, and with good reason really. This is me on the second train, it's two trains to get to uh, the inner city, it takes about an hour all up, and yeah, it's just me on this train. So, um, pretty smooth ride in. And we arrive at the destination here in Newtown, which is part of the inner city of Sydney. And uh, our first stop is Repressed Records, or Repressed. It's a good pun on the name. You can see the sign there about sanitising your hands. That's standard these days. Lots and lots of records in this shop. It's a um, pretty mixed bag of genres. I, of course, go straight to the metal section. Don't know why the old tower was there, but anyway. And here we are going through. There's a void ceremony. Awesome, new album from them, Blasphemer Go to Christ, new release, the new Ulther, Oath of Cruelty, uh, Father Befoul, Diocletian, Suicide, there's uh, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, Repressed are good for new releases uh, most of the time, they get good um, distribution. Caustic Wound, Guard Gaster, Slit Throat Requiem, awesome release. Um, Tyrannic. Yeah, these guys get good imports. Golgotham Remains, my favourite from last year. And uh, yeah, I like to come in here uh, at least once a month, check out what new stuff they've got uh, on the racks. Yeah, in the middle of this, there's an old uh, Nastrand, which is an uh, interesting find. Check out the CDs as well. Every now and then I find some really good stuff in their CDs. There's an Erebus Enthroned, great Aussie band. Sadly no more. Some Psychroptic. Old Blood Duster EP there, some more Topsy. Coffins album. And they also do DVDs and Blu-rays, so that's uh, always good fun. Good foreign section, I find all kinds of uh, Asian cinema in there. Bit of an overview of the shop. They sell books as well. It's a good little shop. And this is some Australian lorikeets that uh, I happened to walk past. Native Australian bird. One of my favourites and they were having a good old feed. Next stop is Papa Disco. Uh, this place has only been around for about a year. These guys sell new and old stuff uh, mixed together. The Ultra Tomb, Sabbath, all kinds of uh, interesting mixed uh, releases here in absolutely no order. There's a Vomitor. I've done very well picking out um, some Megiddo. Megiddo, Megiddo. Um, I've done very well picking out uh, used records from this shop. Um, they tend to buy people's collections and um, yeah, I've picked up a whole bunch of good stuff from here in the past. It's an Innsmouth EP there, Ripper. Should get that Ripper at one point. There's a Bolzer Eucharist. That Trapped Under Ice compilation is awesome, awesome collection of Canadian modern heavy metal. More Sabbath there. Primordial will be in the middle of all that. And good old Metal Lucifer with a chainsaw. Scepter uh, LP's been there for a while. Portrait, Root. Don't know who that is, but it's got a really cool cover. Oh, 
they'll bring up. They do plenty of CDs as well, and there's a Rotting Christ cassette box collection. More cassettes. I haven't found too many good cassettes there, but I have found a couple. So they have a collectible section here, which is all mixed genres. Uh, there's a Dark Throne. Um, this is a bit of a chore to go through, but this is where they put the stuff that they consider worth a bit more, like this Nihilist uh, collection of demos. Um, but you do have to flick through a lot of waffle to find the gold. And the next shop we're going to is Egg Records. These guys have been around for a long time. Um, CDs and records and collectibles. Um, not a very large metal section. And in terms of metal LPs, I haven't found a great deal here before. There's a Death Angel. Beowulf. Yuck. Megadeth reissues. Nothing too exciting. And then... This mighty great Absu sealed box set. But they wanted $200 for that. Grave Miasma album, nearly brought that home with me. And sitting in the back here is a Necros Christos, Nine Graves. I usually get more luck in the metal CDs at Egg. Very random, all used, things that have been traded in. A Blue Tass Nord, but I've already got that. Lots of good stuff here that I already have. Like that one. There's a demigod, but it's not a good album whatsoever. So I was losing a bit of hope flicking through, recognizing that I'd seen most of these last time. But then this came uh, into my eyes and made me very happy. So they've got all those collectibles in here, lots of toys, figurines, there's some uh, Universal Monsters, some old vintage toys, there's an old uh, Ghostbusters toy up there. Games and audio cassettes, there are Alien something up there, diecast models, Star Wars figures, lots of interesting stuff in that, in that uh, shelf. So that's the record shopping we're doing for today, taking the long escalator down to the train station. Mind the gap! And so here's the things that I did pick up today. I did get that Cauldron Black Ram CD. Australian pirate themed death metal. Never ever owned anything by this band. Don't know why. Just never happened. And uh, yeah. This is the original press uh, Japanese release uh, CD put out by Weird Truth Productions. So yeah, 10 bucks, very happy to get that one. And I picked up uh, from um, Repressed, the new Void Ceremony album, Entropic Reflections Continuum Dimensional Unravel. That is a mouthful of a title. Um, Look at that epic artwork, get the uh, sleeve off, that's just outstanding, just amazing stuff. So I haven't had a chance to listen to these yet, but um, I, I listened to the sample of this um, ages ago when they put up one track, and it sounds like, you know, it's, it's like modern death, it's got sort of time ghoul stuff going on, it's... Um, very audible bass, it's got that sort of farty bass sound, I don't know how you call it, but it sounds like farty bass to me. But anyway, um, looking forward to getting into this one, so that's a new Void Ceremony. Very cool. Picked up the new one from Ulta. Um, their last album, uh, I think it was called Cosmovore, was a really interesting Black Death hybrid, really quite strange, got a bit of, not quite Stoner Doom, but it's got this... It's got a vibe like that in there with the Black Death Metal. Um, this, I think, just takes that even further. Um, kind of strange, a little bit avant-garde in some, some cases. So uh, this is the new one. 
and uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this one out as well. Providence is the name. And the other one I got from Repressed is the Oath of Cruelty. Um, they actually ordered this one for me uh, before all the COVID stuff happened and they weren't able to get the uh, distributor to send it to them. But now that things are slightly improved, at least over here, um, they were able to get copies. So, summary execution at dawn. Really, really happy to get this one. Sort of um, thrashy black death metal. Um, yeah, really good. Very happy to get it. Dark Descent Records. And the last thing I got, this is the winner of the day. Samael, or Samuel, I say Samael. Ceremony of Opposites. Wow. This is the uh, original uh, Century Media Press. Very cool. Um, so this was at Papa Disco and it's been there for about a year. Now, I've looked at it before and the price was quite high. When I looked at it today, the price ticker was not quite high. Um, I guess it had been updated. Um, and probably with good reason, I'm assuming this is why. It is visually, probably won't come across very well, but it's actually pretty scuffed visually. Um, on a Discogs, this would be a G. This would be a good at best. It is pretty visually beaten up. So I took a punt, now that the price was dropped. And um, yeah, the main thing about it is that it, after a clean, sounds completely perfect. No clicks, no pops. It sounds. Um, I might pull it back in. It sounds awesome. So it just needed a good scrub, and I didn't pay premium prices for it. So very happy to get Ceremony of Opposites, which is um, on a good day. It's my favourite same uh, same mail. So there you go, Century Media Press. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed coming along with me to the record stores today. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.